Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson, and this is video number two in an in-depth case study and guide that will help you to walk through the process of launching a website that's optimized for not only the search engines, but Google. And I'm kind of showing you step by step. This is video number two, and we're talking about free uh, tools that can help you make uh, really great decisions in regards to your search engine optimization. If you'd like to access the entire tutorial, just go ahead and click the link that says click here to access the tutorial on the video now, and you'll be taken to this very page and you can scroll through and see the whole video. Alrighty. So as mentioned, this is video two and we're talking about tools. The idea is first we're gonna focus a little bit on the search engine optimization of structuring your site in the right way, of understanding where to put the keyword phrases in the content you create and understanding how to create the content. And that's why in the first video we talked about Moz. And now we're gonna talk about where to gain keywords to really understand what people are searching for. After all, that's exactly what uh, Matt Cutts said, right, in, in his video about the three bi biggest mistakes people make is, is number two is not really paying attention to keywords. Now, we're not going to make that mistake. And you have several uh, keyword choices, keyword tools that you can use. So first, I'd like to draw your attention to Uber Suggest. Okay, you can just access this tool at ubersuggest.org. And this is a great keyword tool. It's totally free. And what I like about it is that you start off with one seed keyword, and this mines and brings back additional long tail keywords that are based on the original phrase. So I entered in social media SEO, which is a good example of what I'm doing here with this tutorial. I clicked uh, get suggestions, and you can see here I got like you know 200 different uh, keyword phrases based on social media SEO, like social media best practices right here, right? Uh, social media and SEO consulting firm and then uh, bad SEO. So lots of different keywords and this is really helpful because what you wanna do is focus on creating that content first and once you have a great article, you want to find a keyword phrase that relates to it the most, and then you want to incorporate it in the right area. Now, what you can do is literally just put in a keyword phrase. So let's put in um, WordPress tutorial. And now you're just going to select all, or suggest rather, okay? And waiting, waiting, it looks like, here we go. So here are all our keyword phrases all based on WordPress tutorial. Pretty awesome, think if you had a website on WordPress. Well, you could use this to really build out a site and cover a lot of topics that people were actually looking for. Imagine, you might actually drive traffic. Next, all you need to do is click select all keywords and when you do that, this uh, box on the left pops up, right? And you're just gonna go ahead and click get. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, select all okay I'm gonna copy that I'm gonna open up notepad and you can see here I basically pasting all these uh, keyword phrases into notepad and this is really helpful and the reason why is we're next we're gonna talk about long tail pro this is the keyword tool that I use it's a paid tool if you're on a budget if you just don't have the funds or you don't think it's necessary ah, don't worry about it I've gone for many years without using a keyword tool and I've done just fine that being said when you really get serious about blogging you are gonna want to have access to additional data and as I mentioned in video number one one of the things we're gonna look at is um, page authority that's a metric available by the Moz toolbar and we're also going to look at domain authority. What I love about Longtail Pro is those metrics are integrated into the tool. First, I want to go over the pricing and what's available. Okay, First off, uh, by all means, jump in and feel free to use this keyword tool. It's free. You can use it for 10 days. You pretty much get the $97 one-time uh, payment. Okay, One time, 97 bucks. You get that tool for 10 days. If you like it, you can keep it. You'll be charged 97 bucks. This is what I use. It costs me an extra 17 bucks a month. Now why that's helpful, helpful for me is because I can number one, 
pull in analytics from Moz. So I'm looking at the same analytics that I look at all the time. It's the same data. When I'm really digging into the competition of different web pages that I'm going to compete against, I can use this to get an idea of what's going to be easier to rank for. Boom, that's great. Number two, I can save keywords to favorites. Very helpful when you enter in a list of 200 keywords. You might want to only uh, compare and whittle things down and filter down to four or five keywords. You can add those to favor favorites, and then later you can go through, pull up some additional data based on those five keywords. Uh, and that's what I was talking about with the Moz data. And this is where it's gold. You can import your own list of keywords. Well, we just generated a list of keywords from uh, Uber Suggest, and now we're going to pull those keywords into Longtail Pro. Again, this costs $97 plus $17 a month to get these benefits. I think it's worth it. I'll let you make the call for yourself. So let's fire up the Longtail Pro, and I'll show you how to move forward with this. Now, first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to grab a API from um, AdWords. So you're going to sign up for an AdWords account. You're going to add that into Longtail. Next, you're going to go to Moz and you're going to get an API key. Just search for Moz API key. It's free. It won't cost you anything. You're going to enter that. And then what you can do is you can uh, use that. To, um, to access and filter metrics. And as I mentioned, you can also, when you're using the Platinum version, which I'm using, you can add your own keywords. Okay, so there are the keywords. They're copied to my clipboard. Those are all the WordPress vid uh, video keyword suggestions, rather, that I want to analyze. So now all I need to do is just click Generate Keywords, and the tool's going to go to work. It's pretty quick. Also, we've got some other interesting information here. Number one is I can sort by average cost per click. I can see that right here. So I can see if you were doing AdSense, you might want to make sure to include an article about WordPress tutorial PDF because it's just being bid up a lot more than other keyword phrases. I'm interested primarily usually more in traffic, so I'll search by traffic, and then I'll look at which ones I want to target. Um, I'll pay attention to the traffic levels, cost of competition, and the amount of words. Generally speaking, the longer the word, the easier it is to rank for because of the less likelihood other websites are going after that same phrase. If it was just WordPress tutorial, all kinds of people are going to target that. If it's WordPress tutorial video, that might be a little bit less um, Leslie used across the web. But if it's WordPress tutorial video on how to uh, access the admin, probably hardly anybody's going to be targeting that, like this one right here, tutorial step-by-step -step for beginners. Now, what I really want to see is this, uh, competition. So what I can do is all I want to do is just click that and let the tool go to work and it's going to return a number and this number is again what's happening is it's pulling in um, information from Moz and it's looking at these top 10 websites okay and then it's coming up with that this number here 42 based on guess what remember I talked about page authority and domain authority well we can see those here and we basically get uh, a simple number that we can use to identify what's easier to rank for. So check this out. This one, uh, this is interesting actually. This is the, the long phrase and it looks like, you know, not too hard. The average co competitiveness is 42. What this means is this page here gets a score of 18, which means they're probably targeting it pretty well, right? This page here gets a score of uh, 39. So I just look at this, these numbers, I choose the lowest number, and then I move forward. And this tool allows me to gather that data and move forward. Very, very, very helpful. All right? Now, in the next video, I've actually featured Matt Cutts again. And this is a video I've talked about quite a bit. 
Um, a lot of people have a lot of misconceptions about what's most important. And in this tutorial, I've talked a lot about marketing your website. I'm not talking about building links. I'm talking about just getting traffic to your site. And if you have great content, people are going to link to it. They're going to like it. They're going to share it. They're going to Google Plus it. And that's going to have impact. So I thought, you know, let's include this video because this is one of those misconceptions. And it's basically talking about keyword density. And that's the wrong kind of thinking. So check out this video and then we'll continue and as we move forward we're going to talk more about how to uh, market your website it's brian g johnson and again i encourage you to visit my site marketing easy street to access this, this entire uh, tutorial on marketing your wordpress site via social media talk soon